How's it going, guys? It is 12.23 a.m. Tuesday, June 14th, 2022 here in Japan, and we have a medium difficulty question for pediatrics, okay? This type of question, it shows up on clearly the fucking pediatrics forms, okay? So it's just something you should be aware of. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. And I'll start the clip. Seven week old boy, he's got a one week history of blood and mu blood and mucoid stools. Bloody mucoid stools. He has not vomited during this time. He was commenced on cow milk based formula at age four weeks. His growth parameters are within normal limits. Physical exam shows no other abnormalities. Question wants to know the next best step of management. So let's just walk through the answer choices here. Choice say abdominal ultrasound, wrong fucking answer. Okay, obviously very generic answer. Could be done for a myriad of things, e.g. Pyloric stenosis, forceful vomiting, okay? It could be done for intussusception in theory to look for the target sign before you do an enema. They really want you to know enema for intussusception, okay? It's diagnostic and therapeutic. Point is, abdominal ultrasound is the wrong fucking answer. Choice B, anal manometry, wrong answer. This is, could be done for Hirschsprung disease, okay? On surgery forms, you'll see this often as an incorrect answer, okay? I've never actually seen this as correct. I've just seen it a lot as a wrong answer. And you say, well, when would you do that? In Hirschsprung, okay? I've seen it in a vignette that was done for Hirschsprung disease, okay? But as I just fucking said, for actual answer choices, I've only seen it as a wrong answer. Choice C, stool pH test, wrong answer. In theory, this could be done for lactose intolerance. It's like, this is where we get into the, you know, the medium slash challenging aspect of this question. It's like, well, could this be lactose intolerance, right? Uh, but... It's not, okay, because as I'll discuss in a moment what this is, but this stool pH uh, and hydrogen breath test uh, are, in theory, diagnostic uh, tools slash tests that could be done for uh, lactose intolerance. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, switch to hydrolyzed casein or casein formula is the correct answer. This is milk protein allergy, okay, or cow milk protein allergy. You need to know that the most important risk factor is not being exclusively breastfed within the first six months of life. And they will ask that detail as an actual answer choice, okay? So they're always going to give you a vignette where the kid under the age of six months and was switched to formula from breastfeeding at some point, and then they're going to get blood in the stool. You say, well, that's weird. Why is there blood in the stool? No fucking idea, okay? There just is. So they'll give you blood in the stool in a kid under six months who's been formula fed. And they want you to know that's cow milk protein allergy, allergy or milk protein allergy. Now you say, well, what about soy protein, which is the wrong fucking answer. For whatever reason, there is a crossover with the allergies, okay? It's the literature says different uh, numbers, 10 to 30% overlap, okay? Uh, but there is an overlap with the allergies where if you switch him to a soy based based formula, there's still a chance the allergy can persist, okay? So you're going to switch to a hydrolyzed casein or hydrolyzed casein formula. That's your factoid for this. Absolute nonsense, but it shows up on the pediatric forms nevertheless. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.